this video we're gonna look at a method called successive over relaxation an SOR or waiting idea and a weighted average idea applied to iterative uh, methods and specifically we will look at the Gauss-Seidel because the two methods we've looked at earlier are Jacobi and Gauss-Seidel and clearly uh, Gauss-Seidel is the better of the two methods and much faster so the idea here is to look at for instance how we could possibly improve the Gauss-Seidel uh, perhaps and the idea works something like this uh, if I introduce something here uh, so so without so all of this that you see here this is the right hand side of the Gauss-Seidel method with this as its left hand side so if I introduce this omega weightage idea uh, which what it's basically saying is that look we're gonna put give some weight to the previous iterate okay and we're gonna give certain weightage to the new update that we're going to be doing basically what this means is we're retaining some information from the previous iterate now this is you this this weightage can be changed and adjusted depending on how quickly or how slowly the method actually is converging so for instance uh, uh, for instance uh, this means is basically by choosing for instance omega equal to 1 we go back to so omega equals um, Omega equal 1 gives us uh, just uh, the Gauss-Seidel. Okay, I think that should be quite obvious. Now, if Omega is less than 1, okay, some va value less than 1, it means that we are, well, sorry, it, it can depend on two different things. So if suppose it's 0.5 for the sake of argument, then you would get half 0.5 multiplying the first iterate here and you'd get 0.5 multiplying here. So you're giving equal weightage to these two, right? But by, uh, but by altering that value, bringing closer to one, you would be giving more weight to the Gauss-Seidel here. Now, we call this, when, w, when omega is less than one, we say successive under relaxation. Similarly, when omega is greater than one, and by the way, omega is limited to being, uh, sorry, between, uh, somewhere between zero and two. Uh, so if omega is greater than 1 and of course less than 2, we call that successive over relaxation. Okay, or SOR. And that's why this method is called SOR and not SUR because most of the time we actually end up using SOR generally. And what, that hap what happens there is you will notice that if uh, basically if um, omega is greater than 1 in fact, then you are actually going to be subtracting off some of this, um, the previous iterate, the xik, all right? And, and, and mainly you're going to be actually giving much more significant weightage to the new update because one more than one and less than two means, say 1.5 for instance, is you're giving a significant amount of weightage to um, the new uh, iterate and it may help uh, get it to convergence faster. That's what this is actually used for, in fact. In usually in usual cases in exams or in test situations or even in practical situations the omega what value of omega is optimal is usually different for different different systems so here's an example of SOR um, it's the same example that we've solved before so if we want to do SOR first of all uh, let's do the following uh, as you know if I just were to take everything to the other side and keep the x1 here I would get 6 minus x3 over 2. Now that would be the uh, Gauss-Seidel's, uh, if, if I was using Gauss-Seidel, that would be, that's it, that's the iterative process and I just put a k plus 1 here and a k here and we're good to go for the x1 iterative process uh, using Gauss-Seidel. Now on the other hand, if we want to do SOR now, we will take this and multiply it by the weight w plus we'll have 1 minus w multiplied by x1 k okay so this is basically how sor works so that would be the first step in this part for this particular question now of course we have to define a w before we can practically calculate anything so um, if we choose w equals 1 you will see it, it just collapses to uh, gauss seidel now, I, 
uh, have another video with the Excel where I've actually shown that the best value for this is in fact 1.1. Uh, so we'll go with, well, actually it's 1.08, but I'll go with 1.1. It's a little easier to calculate. So if I use W equals 1.1, then I end up with um, X1, K plus 1 equals um, 6 minus X3, K over 2, all times 1.1 and plus uh, 1 minus uh, 1 1.1, which actually, sorry, negative 0 0.1 times x1k. So you can say it's, it's what it's saying is that really, let's speed up uh, uh, the, the new iterations. The old uh, iteration uh, of x1 is being given less weight, as you see. Okay, so let's uh, do the rest uh, of the uh, iterative pro uh, equations or processes. So x2, k plus 1, in the same way, is just going to be 1.1 times the, uh, the, the usual step, which is going to be 3 minus x3, kth iterate, all divided by 2. And plus you will have, or minus rather, I should say, 0.1 times x, uh, this is x2, so the kth iterate of x2. Then we'll have x3 k plus 1 and that's equal to 1.1 times 4.5 minus x2 this time okay and that's going to be divided by 2 and then we have minus 0.1 x3 of course k at the root. so this is basically how uh, we set up the uh, SOR uh, for this particular problem. Uh, let's calculate a couple of values um, on the table part. So x1, x2, x3. Right, so x1 is uh, with the 0, 0, and the first of course we're going to go with 0, 0 and 0. That's the initial, that's the initial guess. Then we'll go with um, 1.1, it's going to be 1.1 multiply uh, times 3 okay because x3 uh, x3 uh, 0 is 0 so that minus um, nothing because there is um, x1 is here see this is what I'm doing this is what I'm looking at here see this is the formula we're using so anyway so that's going to be uh, just going to be equal to 1.1 times this so it's just 3.3 Okay, so that's 3.3. .3. Next, we come to the x2 part, and x2 is similarly going to be 1.1 actually um, multiplied by uh, 3 divided by 2 is just 1.5. Okay, and nothing to subtract because of the 0. So that's going to become just 1.65. Okay, and here, similarly for the third one, uh, it's going to be just 1.1. Okay, and now this is Gauss Seidel, remember. So here I forgot to put the iterate. This is going to be k plus one. Okay, it's going to be k plus one. So um, uh, what that would mean I would use 1.65, in fact. Okay, so you'll get basically 4.5 minus uh, 1.65. So this is 4.5 minus 1.65. All of that divided by 2 multiplied by 1.1 and of course um, uh, x3 is also 0 initially so um, that's it uh, we can't do much more than that so that turns out to be equal to so that's equal to 1.5675 so that's the first step let's do one more iteration of this uh, now as we this is the first iteration second iteration as we come in it's going to be of course the 1.1 outside multiplied by uh, first, so 6 minus 6 minus uh, x3, 1, so that's 1.5675 divided by 2. Okay, so it'll be 6 minus this, minus, remember, uh, we have 0 0.1 times, now we'll use this, uh, x2, so x2 is 1.65, no, sorry, x1, pardon me, x1, the previous one, so that's 3.33, 3.3, sorry. And that will work out to be 
Uh, let me just make some space here. Okay, so that's going to be equal to uh, 2.10 seven eight seven five seven eight seven five okay so that's done then let's go to the second uh, iterate for x2 so that's going to be 1.1 1 .1 into 3 minus again 1.5675 divided by 2 minus 0 0.1 into uh, the value of x2 previous 1.65 that uh, we can work that out. That's going to be 0 0.6 to 2875. Okay. Last one, uh, we'll do this x3. The second iterate for x3 is going to be, of course, again, 1.1 times, okay, 4.5 minus x2k plus 1. So it's this 0 0.6 to 2875 all divided by 2 minus 0 0.1 times the uh, previous x3, which is, all right, and that, uh, when you work it out, it's going to be 1.975669. And basically, you can continue in this manner. So you can already see the results aren't don't look too bad, keeping in mind that the correct answers, the answers are 2.5 and 2, so not so bad there. Anyway, I uh, just wanted to show you our SOR works, um, and there is another video uh, coming up, which is the Excel, using Excel for all three. So I show that, and it takes only about seven or eight minutes to set up all three, in fact, in one go. So very easy to use, uh, but a very nice little uh, tool to play with. It'll help you understand how these three methods work. So we'll stop here.